Do you think they're done yet? God, already? I hope not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should check it out. Okay. How do I get this thing out? Scream, are we 18 or what? Just hook it from the inside, bear down and pull. Thanks. Not now. You have to keep it in for six hours. I thought you needed it back. Stream. She can wait. Go put it back in. Fast. She reminds me of when I was a girl. You used a condom too, right? God, you must be so relieved. Yeah, I was terrified I'd be the last virgin in the senior class. Well, you definitely picked the right guy. I mean, Chad is a hottie, and God knows he's connected. porcupine shoved at me after the first time. It hurt a little, but I loved it. Welcome to being a woman. Wake up, party girl. It's noon. So our pajamas passe now? Oh, yeah, I'm a real trendsetter. I brought you some coffee. Oh, I can't. I'm off caffeine, remember? That's right. Caffeine is so toxic. Sorry, honey, I forgot. It's OK. Can I have a therapist? Honey, you know we've talked about this. Just because all the other kids are in therapy does not mean you need to be. I know, but I, I think. You are just as well adjusted as anyone else your age. Maybe more so. Unless there's something you haven't told me. I mean, is there? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you just don't understand how hard it is to be a senior these days, Mom. <laughs> So, 
you think I should pull a Frida Kahlo over the fact that he didn't call me? Maybe he felt too vulnerable. How bad are my circles? Very Kate Moss during her and she. Oh, my mother kept me up all night last night obsessing over whether she should marry Irving now that he asked her to sign a prenup. What did you advise? I told her to hold out for more. Marrying money is the only thing she does well. Why should she sell herself short? Mm. Curiously strong mint. So now that you and Chad have hooked up, do you think you're going out or just having sex? I don't know. I guess I should ask him. What about you and Louie or you and Petrus? Are you going out or just having sex? We're definitely going out. We're going way out. Are you sure Petrus isn't a fag? Yes, I'm sure. He's just European. Oh, crap. You guys, we should go. I respect your opinion, sir. And I just can't fathom why you would give me such a low grade. An A minus? <laughs> well, yeah, it totally brings down my average. And I fully intend on getting into heels. Hey, no. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Now, every guy in this school is hot for you. Hey, darling. Mm. And Petrus here is missing a chromosome. Why are you such a freak? I'm not into beefcake. Time management, girls. Time management. All right. Let's wipe our minds clear of fantasy, if that's possible, and get down to reality. Jennifer Simon, what did you do to get into college today? Well, uh, I explored cross-culture communication with my maid, Maria Josefa. Hmm, good try, but uh, a bit transparent. College admission committees are trained to sniff out bullshit. Well, not that we couldn't blow a little smoke in that direction, that's what I'm here for, but we have to start with the basis of reality. Anyone else? Yeah, uh, well, Senator D'Amato had dinner at my parents' house last night, and, uh, <laughs> I got him to write me a recommendation. Oh, that's more like it. Now, that's using your assets. You, you, you mean your father's assets, right? Yeah? Hmm? Uh, what about you, Mr. Rockefeller? Oh, boy. Rockefeller? Do you plan to take the SATs again? I told you. I don't use the name Rockefeller. I go by Lipschitz. Well, Henry D. Rockefeller is a legacy. <laughs> Uh, Henry Lipschitz is uh, not. So I hope when the time comes, there'll be no confusion what name you put on your application. He changed his name freshman year. So Emilio Estevez. All right. Uh, now let's begin by uh, reading the introduction to my book. Warm off the press. And I think it's an easy read and very easy to understand, I assure you. And please take note of the title, Getting In. Uh, shall we begin? Stream Hustle. In my 15 years of experience as a college counselor in the finest prep schools on the East Coast, I am increasingly amazed at the level of competition to get into good colleges and universities. For every one spot, there are 100 qualified applicants, and yet last year I got 40% of my seniors into Harvard, Yale, or Princeton, and 70% into the Ivy League. How do I do it? Marketing. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. Why don't you meet me in the uh, equipment closet in a couple of minutes? But I have calculus. No. Why? But uh, I really need to talk to you.
So, how's Chad? I don't know. He's the bomb, but oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It's just the whole sex thing is kind of a drag. A drag? I thought you were in a total state of bliss. Well, it's novel, but I think I like third base better. Well, I mean, sure, third base is great. I mean, really doing it takes a while to get used to. But then you'll love it. Really? You guys love it? Yeah. It's sex. Jennifer, darling. I couldn't help but overhear the intercom was all. Mother, privacy, please. You're not respecting my boundaries. Oh, darling, I think it's just adorable that you're exploring your sexuality. Really, I just love it. Could you not be so fucking patronizing? Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of, Jennifer. Plenty of women don't enjoy sex. And I'll tell you why right now. Because they're not climaxing. They've never experienced the deepest female pleasure. We don't need your insight. Thank you, Dr. Wu. I've had countless lovers who thought that female orgasm was some sort of Chinese paper folding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, utterly without a clue. What do you mean? Look, it's the 90s, OK? There's an article in Cosmo, like, every month about female orgasm, so. Cosmo. <gasps> How do you expect to learn anything from those bony girls with breast implants? <laughs> okay, out, 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 out. Oh, Such a freak. Fun. <laughs> I've got no more time for you. Your deception I've outgrew, but I'm sure there's still some unsuspecting ears. Well, it's a good thing that you get around, cause you're just too big. For this small town and knowing you, you'd bring them all to tears. The real down. The real le poisson, mais je préfère la baguette. Maintenant, en français. Maintenant, pareil. Pareil, en français. Allez-y, allez-y. Allez, allez Est-ce que vous avez jamais voyagé en France? Listen, Jen, I think your mom's right. I'm not orgasming. What? No. How can you have sex without orgasming? I don't think this is appropriate conversation. No, 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 en français. We must be with the French. Je veux l'orgasm. That means I want an orgasm. No shit. Ooh la la, qu'est-ce que c'est ça? Maintenant, stream. Oui, René, je suis allé en France. Très bien. Maintenant, Nell, moi aussi, j'ai souvent visité la France et je l'ai beaucoup aimé. Bon, Jenny, oui, euh, oui, foie gras. Mm. Non, pas bien, pas bien. I don't know why I do so badly in this class. I have a real connection with the French. I mean, come on. All my favorite shirts are from Agnes B. How can you be sure you do? Stream, we've been having sex a lot longer than you have. We've been doing it since we were 15. When you were going on hay rides in Vermont, we were busy getting laid. You mean every time you guys have sex, you experience increased heat and tingliness? that leads to a feeling of inevitability, and then a damn breaking burst of piercing pleasure and muscle spasms followed by trembling and diminishing shudders? That about sums it up. More or less. I guess it's just me then. Don't feel inadequate, you just need to loosen up. Right. Well, according to the experts, I should increase my relationship to my sensuality, develop my fantasy life, and 
and more fully communicate my needs to my partner. Well, don't be too bossy and make your partner lose his erection. Mm. Dick, I know I'm just a shareholder now, but I love this company, and you're running it into the ground. You gotta be kidding if you think people are gonna buy avocado-flavored toothpaste. No, yeah, I know we're all natural, but this is disgusting. No, I'm not wigging out. I'm trying to communicate with you from a very centered place and save us all from financial ruin. Oh, really? Well, you, you can just kiss my ass, if that's what I get for trying to help. He hung up? Can you believe that? Well, you did tell him to kiss your ass. Yeah. As if no one ever told him that before. Well, you're the one who's so committed to communication. Why don't you try to be more diplomatic? We don't negotiate with terrorists. All right, I have rage. Sorry. I have rage. Mom, you seem stressed out. Maybe we should take a vacation. Go to Vermont for the weekend. I can't be Wouldn't in the be same great? state as your father. I'm sorry. No. Vermont is a nest of bad memories. Look at you. You look so pretty. Are you going out with that boy whose father made all those mafia movies? Yeah, Chad. Chad. Who's your date with? Mm. A most cultured and sophisticated man. A potter from South Africa. For an amateur, your mother has a very good eye. She was immediately drawn to my work. Bartholomew's quite a successful artist. I saw his show at MoMA, and I just immediately had felt it. I don't know, you just have so much to teach me. Oh, thank you. But you want to be a photographer? Well, of course, Dream. That's what's so fascinating about it. Yes. Very few people understand how difficult it is to express human suffering in ceramics. That is true. Very, very true. Really? That's so true. Extremely true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really true. Yeah. So, honey, what do you and Chad have planned for tonight? I'm not sure. We might be going for drinks with his dad and Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand? Ooh! I wonder if she might sing a song. You never know. Okay, right then. What must we never, ever forget? The people who write the SATs are not as smart as I am. Correct. Now, instead of panicking, you choose B or D. Yes. And remember, it's almost never E. Exactly. Thanks, man. Thank me after you get your scores. <laughs> hey, baby. Is that the thousand dollar an hour guy? F Sheen, yeah. He's fucking worth it, though. My brother's scores went up 200 points last year. Wish I could get my parents to pay for them. I'm taking them again, too. <laughs> Why? You got a 1450. Yeah, my dad wants me to break 1500. He's got this fantasy that somehow I'll get a scholarship if I can hit some magical percentile. Whoa. Cruel world. Well, I do want to get into the best school I can, so I might as well try, right? Nell's parents are making her take them again, and she got a... 15-10, right? They'll have her committed if she doesn't get into Yale. That's so sick. You want one? Sure. Barbara had to cancel. I think my dad went to a screening. So, uh, we'll have all night to, uh, hang out. Great. You know, I've been thinking a lot about myself as a woman. So have I. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, anyway, I feel like, um, it'd be good. I'd, I'd like to communicate, us to communicate. Sure, sure. Well, what is it? It's sort of about sex. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> That's dial a weed. I called before you came. Dial a week? So what was that yours? 
saying about sex? Well, it's no big deal or anything. I love you. You do? Why? Do you want to? Me? You brought it up. No, I... I just... I just didn't want to be rude. I'm not really in the mood right now. Don't you want to see my new iguana? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I swear to God, aloe vera soap was my idea. Now he won't even let me be part of running the company. So now, you know, when people go to buy Dick and Judy's, all they're really getting is Dick. It's a challenge to stay positive. How's that? Very good. How's your kidney feel? Oh, much better. You know, an artist must never descend to the petty brouhaha of real life. When did you divorce? Two years ago. Mm. I came to New York to live with Stream, and he stayed up in Vermont with his pin-headed new girlfriend. Mm. Of course, we're still great friends. That's good. That's very mature. Mm. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry it took so long. Oh, it's okay. You know, I have this friend Stream. Oh, my heart goes out to her. She's so sexually unfulfilled. She just can't climax. It's awful. I do the best I can to give her advice, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like some people are innately sensual and some just aren't, you know? Does your friend masturbate? Masturbate? <laughs> Well, no, she's not desperate or anything. I mean, she does have a boyfriend. Remember to breathe. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. May now open your test book.
did not expect Allen Ginsberg to show up in reading comprehension. It was my happiest moment. The universe is a new flower. And the secrets of individual imagination are not for sale. I love that. Me too. Hey, let's celebrate. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you know, I think the thousand bucks for Afshin really paid off. <laughs> I just kicked ass in there. <laughs> what made you think you blew it? I totally forgot what quiddity meant. I thought it was what makes things the same, not what makes a thing distinct. Well, I have got something that will cheer you up. I got this from a friend of mine. Who? <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. What is it? Is it ecstasy? Uh, yeah. We take it now, and we have a really wild time later. party for my mom. That's what he does every time she catches him cheating on her. <laughs> oh, Dad. So, uh, just uh, drive around and we'll uh, have some privacy now. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Mm. That's right, exactly. It's all about being relaxed. We were definitely relaxed. We did X. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> drugs always help, I guess. I'm doing it. I will allow my parents to live vicariously through me. I'm applying early admissions to Yale. Ah, uh, very nice, very nice. Harvard, early. <sighs> me too. Early to Brown. Oh. 
Is it against the rules to have my stepfather's secretary type up my application form? Uh, Jennifer, I don't think your grades or your scores on your SATs, which you chose not to retake, will get you in early to Brown. It's okay. My father bought me a learning disability. What the hell is that? It's an official statement from a highly regarded education specialist that says my low SAT scores and my mediocre grades are in no way a reflection of my intelligence. I have attention deficit disorder. Oh, so that's what they call people who get distracted at the winter sale at Barney's on the day of a physics test. I saved thousands at that sale. And what about you, sir? Hmm? What name have you decided to put on your application? My name is Lipschitz. Well, I appreciate your integrity, but don't you think that's a bit rash, considering the importance of the situation? Look, if I can't get into Yale on my own merits, then I... <laughs> I don't want to go. Oh, well, I hope you're happy with Sarah Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, I hear they have a great finger-painting department. Now, I don't have to remind you, I hope that your uh, early applications are due November 15th, which means those that you get them in early will have a month to brush up on your weak areas. Uh, Stream, what about, uh, what about your extracurricular activities, hmm? Uh, well, um... Hey, so why'd you change your name? I have a prison record. You do? No, I'm kidding. I, uh, I made it up. Oh. Actually, uh, it's my mom's name. I didn't want to ride my dad's luxury train the rest of my life. Barely know the guy. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'll take a donut. Uh, do you want a donut? No, thanks. One donut. Listen, uh, do you want to go hear some music sometime? Um, I don't think I should. I'm kind of seeing Chad. Why? What? Why would you want to go out with that guy? Well, I like him. Do you? Yeah. Really? I do. But maybe all three of us could go hear some music sometime. <laughs> Only if you promise he won't name drop once all night. I can't promise that. <laughs> One coffee, black. Here you go. Where's your drink? I don't like to waste calories on beverages, but I'll have a sip of yours. It is so great to finally be orgasmic. Does it show? Well, where exactly should I be looking? At my face, bitch. Ooh, bitch. So are Bane. Well, you certainly look self-satisfied, if that's what you mean. So, when you were trying to have an orgasm, did you ever masturbate? Masturbate? Not really. I didn't think so. I mean, it's so weird. Well, every time I try, I just get bored and fall asleep. Yeah, it's just not my style. I think it's mostly for people who never get out. <laughs> mm. Life is so unfair. Ugh. How can you stand to be in the same jacuzzi as my cellulite? You are so nuts. Yes, this is she. Look, I'm not interested.
happened to you? Guess what? I was wrong. Hi, baby. Look, Chad, did you really think I had an orgasm in your limo? Or were you just ready to come? What the fuck kind of question is that? Well, I didn't, and I think it's very manipulative of you to tell me that I did. Yeah? Well, fuck you. Come on now. I mean, don't you think it's a little weird that Stream needed aqua therapy to have her breakthrough? I mean, I go off like a rocket the second Louis caresses me. in bed. It's like, you know what I mean? Our sex life's empty. Empty? So then I told him it was over. I felt stifled. Watch it! Hey. Anyway, so we were just sitting there and... Stream, are you even listening to me? Yeah, I'm stunned. I thought you were in love with Louis. Well, I wasn't. And could you please stop staring at Mr. Fashion Nightmare over there? I think he's funny. I think he smells. I've got a confession to make. What? Okay, ladies, come on, chop, chop. Move it. Sitting on your rumps and yap ain't uh, playing volleyball. Urinary tract infections, Mr. Nightbus. Urinary tract infection. Sorry. So what's the confession? I gotta face reality. I don't like sex either. What? Oh God, don't tell me you're not climaxing too. It's just the sad truth. Wow, Jen. You're the only one of us who's gotten off with a guy. Well, I've been having doubts too. I mean, to be honest, sex with Louie was kind of a drag. Now that I think about it, I think I spent most of coitus figuring out what color I wanted for my next manicure. Oh, God. Prozac. Wait. If none of us has ever had it with a guy, then who has? Well, those losers sure haven't. I'm impressed, but Keanu Reeves just walked through the door. Where? By the bar. Did we order that? It's a two bottle minimum at each table. $500? Just put it on your dad's card. It's only 200 each. 200? I really shouldn't. Stream, you have to live in the now. We're here tonight to find butter boys, and the best butter boys come here. We have to upgrade the level of sophistication of the guys we're dealing with if we want to be sexually fulfilled. We're wasting valuable energy with these high school kids. How come our buttery boys are stopping by to visit us? I know, and we look so hot. 
Hey, go out there and get us some. Why me? Because you're the skinniest. You're the richest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Keanu's friend's coming over here. Excuse me. Do you model? Well, actually, yes. I have done some catalog work. Swimsuits, mostly. Actually, I was talking to you. Call me. What is this, a joke? <laughs> Readest models? Wow. Probably a fake. This is the best kind. Actually, I'd have to disagree. McCowns are the best. Are they? I like a, a little tartness to my apple, just like the next guy. Not, not quite to the degree of Granny Smith, but something more subtle, like uh, Cortland or Empire. Empire? What about Fuji? Love Fuji. Hard to find, though. Check this out. Tell me, this isn't the best apple you've had all fall. Delicious. But try them and count. Tame. Tame? OK, it's, it's playful. Zesty. See? You don't know a lot about apples for a city boy. Well, I, uh, I took Outward Bound twice. Impressive. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you ever go apple picking? You mean uh, you mean outside of the farmer's market? Yeah, it's fun. I missed it this year. Well, there's still apples on the trees, right? Let's go. What do you mean right now? Yeah. You and me, right now. Let's get on a train. Well... What? You still got that A-list boyfriend of yours? No, I don't. But I'm supposed to meet my friends in a half an hour. They're waiting for me. Oh, I forgot. You do everything by committee, right? And I'm gonna go check out the squash. But I'm sure you're aware this is the last week before the holidays, and we still haven't written anything on Othello. So I'm assigning an essay to be handed in on Friday. In five to ten pages, present a careful exegesis of the structure of the play with an emphasis on the dramatic tensions that lead to the climax. essay before Friday? Doesn't she realize we've got our own tensions leading to climax? Channel it. All right. Now you can use the rest of the class to prepare your positions. What's this? Random mid-morning vanity? I have an appointment. That agent sent me on a go-see. Agent? A go-see? <laughs> you're kidding, right? What, so now you're dying to be a model? Oh, I know it's weird. It's just... My parents got all excited about it, so whatever. Studio. Who's calling? Let me check. Sorry, sorry, baby dolls. There's no time left. I can only see one more. Um, uh, you. Back and tell me if my ass looks fat in the saddle. I refuse to be your enabler. Just look back and tell me if my ass looks fat in the saddle. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jennifer Simon. What? Is it now? You bitch! Oh my God, you are such a bitch! It's unbelievable. Okay, bye. She got a modeling job. She's gonna be on the cover of YM. That bitch. She's not even that pretty. Giddy up. 
Well, that's fine. She'll never have an orgasm with any of those male models. They're way too self-involved. Yeah. Well, it's not my fault if I'm bitter. My mother's in rehab. Which reminds me, her new sponsor, Doug, is so sexy. Ethically, he can't go out with me, but he's perfect for you. Really? Why? He's older, he's single, and I'm sure, well, I'm sure he has a lot of knowledge about female pleasure. Great. How old is he? Forty-ish, but very well preserved. Trust me, he's really attractive. Giddy up. Okay. Look, Dad, I'm really sorry I didn't break 1500 on my SATs, but I'm not sure getting a scholarship was a realistic goal. I mean, I'll be lucky if I can even get into one of those schools. What are you talking about? You're a genius. I'm not. I'm just a good student at a good high school. I mean, I'm probably not even eligible to get in. I mean, they look at what your parents hey, make. let them you... look, OK? After what I give your mother every month, I'm practically bankrupt. Hi, everybody. Oh, Hi, baby. baby. I thought it was just going to be us. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, do you mind if I just put this on the floor? That's Stream's sure. Christmas present. Pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah, I love it. So, Stream, have you seen the new box? Huh? What do you think, Stream? Come on. A lot hipper than that stupid old shiny tooth squirrel. Oh. Well, um, it's uh, different. Well, don't be shy. I want your expertise. We're targeting a younger market. Well, um, to be honest, Dad, I think it's kind of tacky. Tacky? Oh, she got, she's a kid. What does she know? I, uh, well, I, I appreciate your opinion stream. I do. It's just, well, you know, I'm a little sensitive because it's my design. And it's beautiful. It's, it's so creative. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Nobody told me. No, it's OK. It's really OK. Not me. I hate that fucking squirrel. <laughs> sweetheart, sweetheart. Count me out of the older men idea. Girls who go out with older men are freaks. No, they're not. They're sophisticated. Well, this chick Mimi has obvious emotional problems, and the whole thing made my dad look like a lech. Did you say daddy's a lech? Hold on. Not really, sort of. Boy, I think so, too. Where'd you get this? It's so cute. Anyway. <laughs> I just can't cope with the whole Doug the Sponsor strategy. It's just too gross. So, how bald is your father on a scale of 1 to 10? Did he say anything about me? Is your mom yakking about your dad again? OK, don't tell me. I don't want to put you Why in the middle. Get out of there. I hope you told him I'm seeing a South African potter. Mom, please, I'm on the phone. No, I was on the phone. I never get to see you anymore. What about our relationship? My mother's driving me crazy, too. So what, what, what did your father give you for Christmas? No, no kidding. <laughs> How old does he think you are? Ten? <laughs> anyway, go ahead. It's 11.30. Clearly, we've made a tactical error. I mean, none of the cool people have arrived. If I have to face the new year with no prospects for a climax, I'm going to go post naked pictures of myself on the damn internet. <laughs> now, didn't any of your new male model friends invite you to a New Year's Eve party? What new male model friends? Yeah, now. Where are Kate and Naomi going? Look, let's just go to Betsy Bradley's. I mean, at least her stepfather owns the next. I'm going to go get a drink. Low-tech party, huh? Yeah. How did you end up here? Uh, the guy's the bass player in my band. What band? Oedipus Rec. Oh, I guess I gotta go. Well, why don't you stick around? Rebel against the committee for once. They're not a committee. They don't tell me what to do. They're my friends. Then let's go for a walk. How do you know I want to? Well, I'm asking. Do you? Fine. Fine. How is she doing? What? Where are you going? Wait. Wait. 
So, what's your first choice? Wouldn't it be great for once to spend an evening with someone and not talk about college? <laughs> Is that possible? I mean, they make it seem like the college you get into determines the quality of the rest of your life. Well, it sort of does, doesn't it? No, not unless you see your life like a line on a grid. You can't plan out the future anyway. The future's a figment of your imagination. Whatever happened to chaos? Rolling in the mud, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'd like to roll in the mud. Now that is a fine idea. Come on. What, what are you doing? Wait, where are you going? Come on! What, what about my outfit? Your outfit is just an illusion. You see the mud? That's real. <laughs> Do you want to kiss me? Do you want to kiss me? I don't know. I thought you might want to kiss me. Well, that wasn't what I was thinking about right then. <laughs> Why the hell not? It's the New Year. Don't you want to kiss somebody for good luck? I don't believe in the traditional shit. Do you always do what everyone else does? No. I don't, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I went on this walk with you, didn't I? I mean, I have a lot going on inside me that you don't know about. Just because I happen to have two very close friends doesn't mean I can't think for myself. Oh. Well, babe, that's what you get for ditching your girlfriends to go roll around in the mud with some self-hating blue blood. I guess you're right. He wouldn't even come on to me. That guy's a waste of your time. It's only a deferral. I've spoken with the people at admissions at Harvard and they assure me there's a chance she'll be accepted in April, so she's still in the running. You saw her application. Wasn't it really special? Yes, but now she has an opportunity to try other schools. Is Stream terribly disappointed? Well, she claims to be fine, but you know, how could she not feel like a terrible failure? Not that I think that. Well, of course not. But you know, it wouldn't hurt to have a little talk with her just to make sure that she realizes you're all right with this. Mom, don't be so bummed out. Even if I don't get in anywhere, it doesn't determine the quality of the rest of my life. Oh, I know. It's just that you're so much better than all those other kids. See how Nell got in early when you didn't. Of course, I don't think you should be competitive. Well, Jenny didn't get in early either. Well, Jenny's father can always donate a library to Brown. And trust me, she'll get in. Whereas your father will be lucky if he buys you some sweaters from L.L. Bean. Maybe, maybe I just wasn't focused enough. Maybe I, maybe I should have got you more help, more support. Maybe I should have done your homework for you. I, but you know, I'm really fine about the whole thing. And I, I, I feel totally confident about the way I brought you up. I do. It's no accident that I sent you to a Montessori kindergarten. 
You're a very bright young girl with a strong sense of independence. Condoms? Oh my God. I need to sit down. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling. Believe me, I'm struggling. I hate sounding like a conservative, but I think it might be normal for, for, for a loving parent to have this reaction. You're too young, you're just a kid. I'm sorry, but I feel 100% I feel judgmental. You're right. I hate myself for sounding judgmental. I guess I just have to accept the fact that you're almost an adult and you have to take responsibility for your own decisions. So, why are you here? My mother flipped her lid when she found some condoms. I'm investigating sex, isn't that normal? <laughs> Who can say what's normal? I mean, 70% of American teenagers do it. What's wrong with girls wanting to have sex as much as guys do? I mean, I'm not obsessed with sex. Well, that's good. But I wish I knew how to get a guy to make me climax. Like, how does that happen? How do you think it happens? It seems like you... I don't know, the guy's supposed to... You tell him your needs and he does stuff to you. Is it uh, possible that stream is being a little bit uh, passive? Passive? Stream? Where's Nell? I thought she was coming over. Yeah, like she needs to post a personal ad. Need I say more? She's in the land of hot young things. Can't even get her on the phone anymore. Never mind. Let's read yours. Okay. Young, sexy, single white female actively seeks sensitive lover for active mutual exploration. Over 21 need not respond. Yawn. Were he gonna post that, the village voice? Yeah, actually. Well, they have the best response, right? What were you thinking? I don't know. Doesn't. Town and Country have a website? Town and Country? Jenny, you wrote, I like to scream and prance. Will you poke me with your lance? To hell with lame romance, I want to cream my pants. Perfect, I love it. <laughs> I don't know, Jen. The shrink said to be active, not obscene. Scream, cream? What could be more active? All right, we cannot sit at the same table. Yeah, but I want to see your guy. Okay, you can sit there. Is that a baseball cap? Is that a head of tangled hair? Right. <laughs> so, uh... so, where do you study film? NYU. Oh, great. So, what are your films about? Oh, you know, the uh, prostitute turns out to be my mother type of thing. Whoa. So, are you ready for a little mutual exploration? Uh... <laughs> sure. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Meat man, 703. You know, hung like a horse, born to ride. Uh, no. No. Hi, this is Jennifer Simon. Can I have Wahid come right away, please? Wahid? Traffic is bad, ma'am. Could you pull over, please? Do you think I'm skinny? Ma'am? Do you think I'm skinny? I mean, skinny enough to be attractive? You look too skinny to me, ma'am. Thank you. Orgasm, don't you? Exactly. Concentrate, right. concentrate on that spot right there. But you know, that's funny. You're in the right place, but I guess you don't have a jacuzzi. I have a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it didn't work out. Uh, that usually does the trick. Oh. It's not your fault. Maybe I wasn't concentrating hard enough or... Well... Are you aware of what time it is? I, I had cab trouble. I've been trying not to worry, but who knows where you've been? I don't even want to know. Where have you been, Stream? Maybe if you had a clue, I might confide in you every now and then. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You're so obsessed with being in touch with me, but you're not even in touch with yourself. I am so in touch. I'm in touch with both, both you and myself. I'm totally in touch. No, you're not. I mean, what's up with your so-called photography career anyway? Is that just a way to convince yourself you have a life beyond dad? That is so mean. I can't believe you said that. Bartholomew has a highly celebrated aesthetic, and he is totally supportive of my work. What work? You mean the snapshots you took when we were in Jamaica? You're grounded! That's right! I'm now totally part of the establishment. You are not going anywhere, for any reason, ever again! Isn't this where the Freedom for Tibet Club is meeting? No, no, they, uh, they moved that down to room 305. Nick Drake fan club's meeting here. Oh. Where are all the Nick Drake fans then? Too cool to be in a club, I guess. I guess. Hey, uh, my band's playing next week at Venus Lounge. You should come by. Is that an invitation? Shouldn't you address it to my personal trainers? They can come too. Lovely. Ah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Show me your dark places. Like this? No, 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 no. I want you to imagine the camera is, is your first boyfriend. What? More natural, something. One thing is acting. More neck, show me more neck. Now look at me like you want to have sex with me. <laughs> what are you, a pervert? I have to be. It's my job. Can you get your hand off me? Are you frightened? Good, look into the camera. 
Oh, I'd love to, but then who'd take the photos? Of course, I do have a tripod. Hello? It's for me. What? What credit card? Dad, it, it was an emergency. What's going on? What's he talking about? I thought you weren't talking to me. All right, I'll rip it up. Dad, I said I would rip it up, okay? Now? Oh, come on. All right, fine. Is he abusing you emotionally? <sighs> Look, I'm destroying it, okay? Look, Dad, I am destroying the card, okay? Do you hear that? It's totally dead. What? What do you mean you can't pay for college? No, I can't get a scholarship. Why are you torturing her? If you can spend thousands on that new bimbo of yours, then you can cough it up for your daughter's education. Mom, please don't fight. You need to get a hold of yourself, Dick. Do you want her to have to take out a loan and be in debt for the rest of her life just so you could buy a new Range Rover? Listen to me, now, now, hold on. Now, now, stick your finger down your throat. Do it, I mean it. I'm sneaking out right now, okay? Her large breasts undulating in golden waves. And then, on the right, we have the angry Susu Surio, who reminds me... Good night, I'm going to sleep now. ...delicious dragon. Good night. Look at her heart, which is like an angry, meat-like globe. This nun is so oh, deep. deep. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, but I can't stand watching anyone else doing it. <coughs> anyway, shouldn't we take her to the hospital or whatever? <laughs> no, my parents are gonna be home any minute. They'll kill me. I thought that was the point. Jen, can you be sensitive? <sighs> my life is fucking hell. What happened? I thought everything was going really well for you. <laughs> like when? Like when you were on the cover of YM? You said you got free drinks at every club you went to. Now, you're like so... Beautiful and so smart and and blase. Everyone wants to be like you. Nobody really knows me. Right, 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 right. Oh, Nelly. How many Prozacs did you take? I don't know. Three. Three? I thought you took the whole bottle. That's all that was left. <sighs> I guess that's all of them then. Gross. Ugh, plus the bird just shat. <laughs> Get away from me, bunny. Of course, I'm aware that you snuck out last night. But I want you to know that I um, spent the whole night meditating on it. And I, um, I understand that you 
You're probably upset about your father's so-called financial crisis. So I've decided to move beyond grounding as a means of discipline. I still feel that you have not behaved responsibly. But I, I can only advise you and hope that you respect my opinion. Thanks. You're welcome. And now for a special treat, we're taking you into the sweaty world of high school rock and roll. Our first video comes from that New York City group called Oedipus Rex. The sexy crew will be performing tonight at the bank in that big rotten apple New York City. Check it out. <laughs> the universe is like a new flower Not as much me to kiss you about Henry. We think he's a freak. But we understand your need to find out if he's a stud on stage since he was such a dud in the mud. <laughs> I thought he was off your list. You know, I've got this awful feeling I might kind of like him. So? Like has nothing to do with sexual ecstasy. I'm starting to think it does. Come on. Three of us. He looks really good. Yeah, if you like Grace, that boy needs to take a shower. So, um, uh, I, uh, I know this girl. Yeah. And we, uh, we had all this chemistry. But she's too hung up on what other people think to really rock. <laughs> I wrote this song when, when I thought I stood a chance.
Are you sure she's gay? I don't know. They do look kind of touchy-feely. Whatever, all those rock and rollers are sluts. Maybe she's bi. What do you care, anyway? Look, whatever, can we just get out of this dive? I'm gonna die of boredom. Hey, where's Nell? What are you doing a block away? I told you to wait out front. Well, I didn't say you could go get a cup of coffee. Yes, now, please. Let's wait for the band to come out. I can't wait any longer. If I don't go home now, my driver goes on overtime. Well, they're coming out any minute. And besides, we can't leave without now. What if she tries to kill herself again? She's all out of Prozac. What's she gonna do? OD on St. John's Ward? Look, that's my car, all right? Let's just go. Excuse me. You guys were really great tonight. Are you really a lesbian? <laughs> That's a weird way to say hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm such a freak. No, it's okay. Yeah, I'm up. Are you? Me? <laughs> no. behind my face. Sounds like you're really depressed. Yeah, I just feel like a freak sometimes. A freak from the inside or a freak from the outside? Inside, outside people love me. So, what do you think is going on inside? I don't know. Well, I'm sure you will someday. It's pretty late. I mean, early. <laughs> I think I should be heading home. Wait. Thank you guys for coming over. I have a pretty serious news flash. I had an orgasm. What? You're lying. I don't believe this. You were the laziest one out of all of us. How did you do it? Who is it, Nell? Who's the guy? Well, it's the drummer from Oedipus Wreck. The drummer? You mean from Brearley? You mean she's not sleeping with Henry? Nope. The dyke? Fantastic! Her name is Liza, and you know what, Stream, you were right. Like has everything to do with sexual ecstasy. I knew it. <laughs> At least it's totally trendy, right? I mean, you never know. You could get your own sitcom. Shut up, Jen. I think it's great now. Congratulations. <laughs> Check this out. Papaya ginkgo energizing cream with oatmeal. How does it feel? <laughs> huh? It's tingly. 
energizing. It's great. It is, right? God, I'm <laughs> gifted with herbs. <laughs> you know, honey, now that I've finally freed Judy from Dick and Judy's, I realize how frustrated I've been. It's really blocking my spiritual progress. I'm a born businesswoman. Who is I trying to kid with that photography idea? A lot of your photos are really good. Thanks, but you know, I just have to consider it like a hobby. Now, the minute I start thinking about it as a professional thing, I get so, I get so um, claustrophobic. I can't go near a dark room. Mom, you are so self-actualized. Well, it's about time. You know, I, I've been so overwhelmed with my own stuff. I haven't really, really understood what you were going through as a young woman. And, you know, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And now, Harvard. Harvard schmarbert. <laughs> this time, I'm not even going to watch. You know I love you, no matter what. <laughs> I can't oh, believe it! Gonna... I just can't believe I have to go to faster! Oh, it's a nightmare! You're gonna love it! It's really low pressure there! Oh, the kitchen's a really good town! Oh, come on! Thank you, Daddy. Brown. It was really touch and go for a while, but he finally found the right person to bribe. Stream, you? Yes, I got in. And my mom finally released her inner entrepreneur, so now she's sure she can help me pay for it. That's so good. That's really nice. You know, he got into Harvard and Yale. So, he'll either be in my class or yours now. Oh, uh, not mine, I'm not going. What? You've got to be kidding after all that work? Oh, God, no. Your poor parents, they're going to commit harikari. I'm not doing anything that feels wrong anymore. I don't know, maybe I'll join the Peace Corps and go to school afterwards. Or maybe I won't. It's my life. Peace Corps? Hmm. That's awesome, Nell. Thanks. Go get him. Congratulations, Henry Lipschitz. Thanks. Uh, congratulations to you, Stream Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> Will you go out with me? I thought I wasn't your type. You are. I, I just haven't been listening to myself. I understand if you don't want to. That was really, um... I just wanted you to know that I think about you sometimes, and I'm sorry if I acted like a jerk. I'll go out with you. You will? You want some time to think about it? No. I don't need time to think about it. So how come you never kissed me that night in the park? I was nervous. Really? But you're a rocker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't... I don't kiss people I barely know. Oh. Well, that's good policy. Listen. I've got some things I want to show you, okay? Okay. I've got some things to show you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Me first.
Thank you. 